Incoming. Incoming. Yeah, let's get into it. In the studio, we've got KSN hey. Swagger. What's going on? Woo. Woo, 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 woo. How art thou? What's what's been happening in your in your world? I'm good, you know. Uh, what's been happening? Too too much and too little. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. Too much and too little. Um, I think musically right now is a state of me um, reflecting on life um, and journaling and working through some feelings. Um, I'm working towards getting some stuff off the ground um, in regards to my script writing and putting out some more short films. 2023 got some projects in the mix but yeah um as i said too much and too little <laughs> <laughs> things are just in the say in hiding right now and you know you're just working on yourself um i hear that you have to go inwards from yeah, sometimes to go out when said it i think right now i'm just working on me who i am as a person and um, redefining myself finding myself, losing myself and finding myself and yeah journey, I what journey I'm going on and being on that journey as well literally and just <sighs> trying to adult in this life <laughs> it's not trying like to it adult to in this life it's not like <laughs> it used to be I'm telling you this adult in things so let's get jump into it then um what is your real what what what's your artist name what's your official artist name hey essence how did you come up with that? Um, I can't even remember now, you know. I can't even lie. <laughs> I can't even remember. Um, it was a while ago. Okay. When I was about 16. I don't think there was a deep story about it. Okay. I think it just was one of those things that just happened and okay. it just stuck. You that know is, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like, oh, I was sitting there. It just was one of those things that it just popped up at, I, I can't even remember nowhere and all my friends was like just caught on to it and then it just caught on it's one of them ones yeah because <laughs> uh, i remember like back in the day you know there used to be a um at my at night organized called poetic essence yeah, well, yeah and i saw i think that's where i saw you there first and yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. oh my god wow finger clicks all around finger clicks, <laughs> like, you know what i mean yeah, 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 yeah. and then i'm um, now starting to organize nights and did you come and perform the one time like, it is what it is is what it is yeah i did nice i, did. I, I did. remember that yeah you know what that's funny you know because that popped up yeah on my facebook you okay. know memories yeah i hate memories on facebook i love them at the same time yeah it popped up on my um facebook memories and um it showed the performance okay that yeah. is i think it was like eight years ago or yeah like mad last <laughs> long, ago, <laughs> long it? time ago but you know i love those times because that's when i was in say my element when I was performing on stage before I kind of <laughs> stopped doing all of that and yeah. changing what my art form was. So yeah, remember that night? Yeah, it was a good night. Really, really good night. Yeah. So yeah, that was a really good night. Um, Let's move on to... Okay then, cool. So you, you've been doing music for, for a while now and it kind of thing and for a long time. What was the catalyst that got you into music? What was it that you know what was the moment that spurred you was like this is it this is what i want to do with the rest of my life um i think it was like when i was in school i think i was in like year eight and i had a friend named lecky you might know her okay yeah, at yeah. School. <laughs> that school and me and her did a chat talent show together and my, can i swear yeah yeah my lyrics was shit man <laughs> I brought some lyrics. It was so shit I'm still improving and I'm still growing in in um, my artistry but yeah we was at this talent show and we performed and I remember coming out of that and I just started to enjoy music and I didn't know that that was something that I enjoyed that much at that stage mm -hmm. before that you know when you're younger and you, you know you're playing the guitar and you're putting up performances and all of that when you're a kid like five six I'm dancing and singing around. yeah I remember it well I knew I, knew I had some performance performer in me but I didn't know exactly what it was and I think at that stage is when I found out what I was talented at um, and then going forward I just kind of um, transitioned my 
rapping into spoken word okay um, because that resonated more with me but at that time it wasn't something that was kind of popping off shall i say mm-hmm. it was something that was still quite new um still quite a thing that no one really heard of so yeah so i remember at school and yeah about 12 or 30 um and that literally grew my my love for poetry okay. and and just just music and just life in general when it comes to creating music. yeah creativity let's yeah. let's okay then cool since i'm just talking about music and creativity let's get into one of your tracks I called Riding. Was a quiet night in make music and listen as I sing serenade you with my monotone write lyrics on my cell phone freestyling as the beat spins it's like one of them night is night you my jersey head tied that leopard print braids tied up underneath it I'm laid back with my hair slick that fit flops baggy shorts and a vest top in the background a whole black movie as a light cause you know it's dark and the last light bulb just blown and right now I'm in my zone to so even think about Getting another one I told the baby, listen You're my inspiration Let's have a conversation Maybe I can translate it to a rhythm So we started talking Baby, to the music She said, let me grab a somber glass We got a bottle of something At the back of the cupboard Wipe the dust off I'll be fine with that I told her, bring a fine ass Here, I kinda miss her She'll be gone for two minutes I'll be acting stupid Trying to change the song But R. Kelly on the bumper Grab like I'm a stripper <laughs> I'm just messing And we just vibing to the music uh, And we just vibing, we just vibing to the music uh, And we just vibing to the music uh, And we just vibing to the music She ran over, pulled me back, grabbed my ass a wink And the grin, we was on the floor fighting, play fighting uh, Always when we turned over the track to Jay Dilla, her favorite producer. You know I like that. Baby, come sit on my lap. Let's get deep. Conversate about nothing and everything. So we started talking about the future. How we wish to stay together. Let's be realistic. Nothing lasts forever. Let's be happy in the moment we spend today and tomorrow. So she give me that look like, what do you mean? I look back like. Seriously, don't take it too seriously. Obviously, I'm not cheating. If I'm lying with you till two in the morning, my mother is the only one that calls me. So she grinned, and we're just vibing, uh, toe tapping, uh, head knocking, uh, ad libbing, like we actually know what we're saying. Our energies are just bouncing, it's like we're making magic. The music speaking to us through the speakers, it's so sexy when my shorty whispers. But speaker, she said, Why do you? You want the neighbors to hear us, uh, and we just vibing to the music, uh, and we just vibing, we just vibing to the music, uh, and we just vibing to the music, uh, and we just vibing to the music. We just vibes in one two step. We just vibes in toe hill step. We're getting close, closer, our bodies in sync, kind of slow motion, and we're vibes in. We lost track of time, the movie's still on repeat, our glass is empty. We got a day to recover from our daydreams, you're my lady, I'm my lady, we ain't had a night like this lately. The liquor in the system, a jazz is kind of missing, her feet off the ground while my waist didn't know how long it could take. And we just vibe into the music, maybe more, it's kind of set the scene for me and you to experience. Intimacy on a different level, mental and physically, and we're still moving to the music, putting our own spin on it. Let me paint a picture. You what say it off quickly you on the couch? While her woman on the bonnet of the car, moving her silhouette like a model. So I'm Cleo. Sit back, put another glass, turn the volume up so the neighbors can hear us. Or I mean the music. That 
that was a complete and utter vibe. <laughs> Tell me about that track. Um, you know what? That track came out of thin air, just chilling, literally just chilling. Probably was smoking or drinking or something at that time. The best way. The best a while way. ago, a while ago, you know, you just that beat come through, you're like, oh, you just write bare shit. <laughs> you just like, you know what? Let's make this this a fun one. And then I threw it on the, the the last project that I did, just to kind of just change the, the vibe, <laughs> the, the, the vibe of the project because. Obviously, the project was quite heavy, mm -hmm. so it was just something completely different, something that I never really done before. So, I thought, let's just try it. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. So, tell me about your inspiration like, what inspires you? What motivates you when you're um, creating or to create? I think what inspires me the most is life, um, the life that I live. I think most of the music that I try to make, and most, most of what I write about is, is personal um, and is also relatable. And through that is having life experience and going through life and that's letting be my motivation to continue using music as my therapy mm -hmm. um, and that's what I mean like that's why I continue to journal and it comes out in poetry form um, and so yeah I would say life is my inspiration I would just say the person now I see in five years time 10 years time 15 years time 20 years time um, is my motivation too is just wanting to improve and get better and better in myself in every single way um but also um biggest inspirations musically are um is jill scott nice. <laughs> ari lennox um kendrick lamar j cole um i think those artists when i listen to them yeah their music makes me think and that's what I enjoy. It makes me think and it makes me think, well, oh, I wish I could write like this, or I want to write like this, or I want to get better at writing. Um, and just the, the creativity in it and the imagination. Mm -hmm. um, I just love <laughs> and just just everything about it. Yeah. Everything <laughs> just motivate me to be better. Yeah, yeah. So I remember growing up, yeah, kind of thing. My my parents, you know, their um, my mom was very Christian, she was strict in it, mm -hmm. and so she didn't really think much about my music, much about like the, the, the creative sector, the creative industries, kind of thing. Um, what do your parents and what do your loved ones feel about your creativity and your and your you know your art kind of thing? That are you supportive? You know what? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Um, I think there was a, a time where. I wasn't so much I say my mom um I don't think she really understands um <laughs> creativity or knowing that you know your artistry can make it make a living um and that's something over time she she found it hard to hear at times especially with some of the content that I produce but I think it took a while for her to become kind of accepting my dad um my dad is a gospel singer <laughs> so from a young age like he took me to the studio um record songs like he's been very supportive of of my work um very much so attended a lot of my, my performances um and yeah just 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 was there musically um all the time um he's even asked me to do a couple of his music videos as well do you know what i mean so yeah. i'm doing my dad's music videos it's, it's mad like when you think about it i never really thought about it like that but around yeah, you know, yeah. That dude, it's just like, like it's for just me music. like i think it from my mom but like it from my uncle kind of thing like he was the musical one like everyone in the family is musical my mom's a beautiful singer like her voice that's where i get it from mm. and um but she like the actual entertainment industry she was just always against kind of mm. thing she wanted me to become some kind of doctor or lawyer or something you know the yeah, typical yeah, yeah, jamaican yeah. character yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. study 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 yeah. um so i got it more from my uncle and he was he was the one that took me into the studios and whatnot kind of thing got me recorded from a young age so i didn't know exactly what you're talking yeah, about that's yeah. so nice to hear yeah. that you were supported like that um can you tell me about some of the challenges that you faced in the music industry I think the biggest challenge, I think for everybody in life right now as well, is money. Oh, uh, I yeah. think it's just finding money. I think, I think, I think for me personally, I know that musically, I probably could have been um, further than what I am right now, and I'm always going. But it's because of money. I think you have to make money <laughs> to to do things. Yeah. I think when I was younger as well, starting out. Um, wanting to do the specific things that I wanted to do in music. I couldn't do like paper beats, 
um, pay for studio time, pay for those things. Um, so then you have to pick up a job and then when the time is now being used to do something that you don't actually want to do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I think it's the biggest challenge is trying to balance um, to make money and to make art um, throughout life really. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's the only challenge for me. I hear that. It's always a thing, man. We always have to be on the grind. For me, I just refuse to do that. <laughs> it's just me being stubborn and I'm a Taurus. And so I don't want to do a job outside of the creative sector kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So any kind of creative thing that I can get my hands on, that's what I'm doing to yeah, make money. Do you know what I mean? Rather yeah. than doing a nine to five or like a sales job. Can you, if you, can you imagine? Oh my mm -hmm. God. Um, I know that like right now as well, like a lot of, there's a lot of funding out there mm -hmm. to get to be accessed, um, which is, which is good. Um, so artists can now work on their craft. They can go do a music video. They can buy studio equipment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, where before you couldn't do all of that. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a good shout out to the kind of thing those funders out there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So um, okay then. Cool. How? So me? Yeah. Mm. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> I find the internet very tedious, especially when it comes to social media. Yeah. Um, you know, it, I, I just find it a chore and it kind of because it's something extra that you gotta do on top of your job already, which is mixing on what, whatever you gotta do for me anyway, kind of thing. How do you think in, the internet has impacted the music industry as a whole? Do you think it's like worse than it or better than it kind of thing, or do you think there's positive in um in it or negative and negative? Do you know what's your what's your what's perspective? My, uh, I think. I think massively it's allowed people who have talent to be seen and recognised mm -hmm. so people can create their own fan base but then it is now put in a, made a situation where artists can't get get paid at what they deserve <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, especially um, when you see the Spotify streaming yeah, amounts of like, zero point zero 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 yeah, four because pence. people are not buying <laughs> albums or singles they're just literally streaming it or you know, <coughs> going on youtube where and you probably don't have to pay for it do you know what i mean like it, it's i can understand the positive where people can get their stuff out there mm -hmm. you could be joe blogs and you can get your, your shit out there do you know what i mean but yeah you're not getting what you deserve really um i think it takes time as well and, and consistency with everything um, to be noticed and recognised through social media but if you know how to use it and using it the right way um, it can get you to the right places okay okay I, 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 I just find it a chore that's all kind of thing like um, for me I'm just like okay then cool can I just make the beats mm, can I just sit yeah. back make the beat can the artist just come and record it and I just yeah. and go about your business and do so what, what you want to do money yeah if you have money You'll be able to pay for that person to do marketing, true. for that person to do this, for that person to do true, that, true, and that's true. what all these kind. It depends what type of artist you're thinking of, but yeah. certain artists that can afford or got, got a label or whatever can have all those things. But being an independent artist where you're doing everything yourself, it's hard. You can't find the time. I hate social media. Like I used to love it. I used to love it, but it's not. It's not used for what it's supposed to be used for. Yeah. No more. Do you know? What I yeah, mean? yeah. I hope, yeah. Um. The whole the whole pur purpose of it is kind of kind of gone. But it's, it is long. It is long. I used to enjoy it at a time where um I would do like these short sixty second clips, and so I did that for myself really to just practice like training my brain. Mm -hmm. So I kept on writing, write something quick, boom, write it um in sixty second for sixty seconds and. That, that was training my brain, but it, it, it hasn't got time to keep doing that. Yeah, for like, actually, let's go, let's, let's go back on something because you mm. said earlier on that you know, um, before you stopped, um, mm. or that performance and whatnot, kind of thing. And so, you've been off the scene for a while. Mm. What are you doing now, kind of thing? You know, because I know that we had um, a collaboration recently, mm. um, with Nigel Hines on his video, um, Ghosting, kind of thing, where you, the, you directed the shoot, yeah. What are you doing in that in that sense? What kind of thing? What other creative creative stuff are you doing out there? Okay, so what I'm doing is more for my, for myself. I think it's more building a portfolio. Okay. Um, what I'm doing for myself is doing things that I enjoy. So 
uh, I still see dancers online and I like I like what they've got going on. I I actively enjoy them and just edit on my own own terms kind of thing. I think um right now I'm I work full time but as I said like for me I've got tons and tons of a catalogue of scripts, monologues and anything and it's thinking, I'm in the process of thinking what I want to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, I do have my A Woman Undress project um, and short films that I'm still pushing and sending to um, festivals and stuff and are getting accepted. So um, I think it's just been more kind of pushing those things to certain places and then just living life a little bit mm -hmm. and just thinking about what the next step is. Okay. So what? who would be, um, in the world of music, would be your dream collab? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's serious. I don't even know. Ah, oh, I've got too many. Can't I just have like a massive feature? <laughs> <laughs> like a bust around to chip feature, like yeah, like, 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 like that. Yeah, man. What are they? Um, I think the people that I mentioned earlier, to be honest. Okay, Jasmine Sullivan. Oh God. Yeah, Lauren Hill. Jill Scott, um, Erica Badu, um, Ari Lennox, um, Kendrick Lamar, um, oh. Gosh, that is a weighty list kind of thing. That's a Jay Dilla produced it. <laughs> 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 Cool. Let's get into one of your tracks then, kind of thing. Which um, one do you want to get into next? Uh, let's go with um, Fat Chick in the Corner. All right then. Here is Fat Chick in the Corner by Kirsten. I'm just doing me, being me, silly me. Fat Chick on the Corner. Wishing that her thoughts could progress much further. But her time is up, the cars broke down. She missed her stop, her heart's at rock. Last of pulling in tears that strapped. Her eyes blood shut was the greatest Now she's in for edit TV Looking at the TV Said she could have made it If I had it in me But she, I, was the sea Cause when it comes too easy And now that future's a mystery Spent her high nights Showers in fucker and ice Swelling only goes down that way But the agonising pain still stays Mentally still them scars still remain skin deep No beauty lies Struggling to find Look in the mirror Nothing looks back Turn around Hear that screaming it's a conscious possessing her mind that she needs a detox Cause her body can't take it She thought she was strong Nothing could defeat her in her soul So empty, so empty, so empty Before So a blissful peace and serenity Didn't believe in God Now she's kneeling to the ceiling So spiritual, a higher power She believes in Now she's fasting Cleanse her inner self from the toxins and now she wants to drop a couple of pounds Cause she got jeans that she was fair ass in Now she's back in Now it's back in Still can't think for herself Find a way out Answer the question that you've been asking If I don't know, how you gonna know? That's another question Too much pressure I just can't take it Just pour another glass And pour it slow And I'll say when And I'll say when We about to sit back and relax, take a puff, pass it back. Let's talk into our chest, can't inhale. Welcome to S4CP, we on the air. We about to sit back and relax, take a puff, pass it back. Let's talk into our chest, can't inhale. Welcome to S4CP, we on the air. <laughs>